Hey guys, welcome to FM Driving School. You're with me, your fully qualified driving instructor, FM. If you got a driving test coming up and you want to pass your driving test first time, well, this is a video to watch. Basically, it'll be me driving, doing a real mock driving test, and I'm going to show you as a fully qualified driving instructor what you should be doing in your driving test, what the examiner will be expecting from you, and exactly how to pass your driving test. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Click the button for all the latest videos. So make sure you have good clutch control. Watch out for this guy. A uh, lot of things happening. Uh, let's straighten up. Check your mirrors. Up to gear two. Let's find some of the right to park. So interior right. Massive gap here. Indicate. Let's get in. Before the speed bump, we're going to get in. Great. Single yellow doesn't really matter. Um, Cancel the indicator, handbrake, neutral. I've given myself a little bit of a gap between the car and the curb. Into reverse. Okay, six point check. I'm gonna look over my shoulder. Look over your back when you reverse. Look in the small mirror to make sure you got a nice gap. Back again. Keep it slow. Back again. Break a little bit to keep it slow. And that's about two cars length. Let's stop here. Handbrake, gear one, biting point, six point check. Do it from the right side so that when you pull off, your last observation is on the left. Sorry, the mic's falling off. Last observation is on the left. Indicate, double check, and move across. Up to gear two, check all your mirrors. Break a little bit with the speed bump and get up to K3 now. There's a bend coming up, 20 miles an hour zone. So break a little bit. We're about 14 miles an hour doing that speed bump. So funny story, that instructor there in front of us told me to drive when I was 17. Very nice guy. 20 miles an hour zone still. Brand up in front of us. Okay. Let's follow my old driving instructor. The examiner may ask you to randomly pull up, so interior left, indicate, and then pull yourself in. And then, once you stop, handbrake neutral, cancel the indicator. Okay, once you stop, clutch down gear one, biting point. The examiner will ask you to move off, six point check, from the left all the way to the right blind spot of your right shoulder, double check, and let's go. And then, go up to gear two, drive. To gear three, okay. What's this car doing? There you go, we've got the space. Check our right mirror, slow down a bit, got up to gear two, and then carry on. Check our right mirror, slightly swing out to the center. Check your left mirror, interior left, to move back in. Up to gear three. Roundabout, we're taking the second exit straight. Second exit. So there's a sign of the roundabout. I don't know if you guys can see it. Behind the tree. Brake, clutch down, go down to gear two. Second exit is that way. So follow the shape of the roundabout. Check my right mirror in case somebody cuts in. Look, in, uh, look ahead so you can see what's in front of you. Up to gear three. Okay, check your mirrors, move back in slightly to the left side. Let's turn left at the end of the road. There's a car coming, break a little bit. Okay, we're staying good. So interior left first, indicate. And great, clutch down, we're to get to 
for the shape of the road so you're about a meter away from the camp got to get one check keep leaning forward and it's clear to go let's go up to gear two check all your mirrors 20 miles an hour up to gear three we're going to turn right at the next road so there we go interior right indicate indicate again because it's come up great going up to gear two looking ahead make sure we don't cut no one across there we go there's a car coming in front of us we could wait here yeah, let's wait here since it's tight again do you see how i'm looking into the road to see uh, what's in front so that i can react to it another car's trying to pull out let's just wait to be safe check your mirrors while you're waiting all right thank you mate no worries there we go to get to. Very important when you're dealing with tight roads that when you're going to the road, look ahead, look right into the road so that you can react to anybody trying to come through. Interior left. Let's keep going. Okay, checking my mirrors. Looking ahead as well. Okay, it's quite clear. Another car's coming. Interior left. Planning can move across here. Break it there, let's go to oh one gear two, all right. Check out right, interior right, move back out. Sometimes here yeah, you figure what gear you're in, you can feel it when your hands are um, on the gears. If it's, if it's down, it's more likely two or four. If you know your speed, you know it's gonna be two. Okay, interior left, move back out to the left side. Here. Break. Let's go on top of both the speed bumps away. Center speed box since it's cars in the way. And we're turning left at the end, interior left, indicate. Um, let's go to gear one for now. Scan, it looks completely clear. Let's go. Technically, we could have stayed in gear two, I guess. Okay, check all the mirrors, go to gear two. But due to the speed bump, I went to gear one. Because I know it's going to slow us down, so just to give myself a bit more power. We're going straight through. So look, if you can't see any arrows on the floor, you have to assume the left lane goes straight. So interior left, let's move back into the left lane. Once you're in, cancel the indicator, and there's a keep clear sign, so we're gonna wait here. I'm very neutral for a little bit. No way, we're going straight at the traffic lights. One fighting for it, check my mirrors in case somebody comes through. Comes through. And to get to you. To get three. So, yeah, the lights were changing as I was driving. It's fine, I was fairly fast, so it was fine to avoid. speed is this road? Let's see. I can't see any speed signs. So maybe I missed it. We're going to assume it's 30 until I see a sign, right? So even me as an instructor, roads are completely um, different every single road and they're always changing. Uh, maybe you as a student might miss the speed sign signs. So the best thing to do is use a street lamps as your guide 30 miles an hour until you see a 20 miles an hour sign. You can actually fail for being too slow. Imagine this is a 30 miles an hour road, which we're thinking of, and you're doing 20, you could fail for that. So no signs here of 20, so we're doing the right thing, staying at 30 miles an hour. Again, hogging the left lane, check our mirrors. There's a car on our right trying to overtake. Maybe trying to turn right, it looks great. And that's the end of part three. Hopefully that was extremely useful to watch. Don't forget to catch part four. In part four, we go through a few difficult situations, a few difficult roads, and we show you how to deal with it in the correct manner, in the manner that the examiner wants you to um, deal with it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and take care.